Rejected. Please send us your references. On Monday I had a final round interview at a prestigious Ivy League. On Tuesday evening I received an email from their HR department notifying me that they would no longer be moving forward with my candidacy. Yesterday. On Thursday. I received an email requesting I send the department my references because I was still in consideration. I ended up calling the person who interviewed me and declined to move forward. I am in a place where I can do that but I know there are millions of people who, out of desperation, have no choice but to let employers jerk them around. We could put an end to this BS with some cooperation. But nobody hates Americans like other Americans. Edit. To clarify. This was a clerical error. The person I spoke with told me they had not authorized the rejection email. So a better candidate dropped out. Or something like that. I bet that if you go ahead. There would be something else. Like they reduce the salary offered. Info. Did you clarify why they wanted references? Did the selected candidate drop out? Are they aware that they sent you a rejection letter? Is this a clerical error? A. This exact thing happened to me in college when looking for internships. They were hiring three interns and I ended up being choice number four. One of the top three declined the position and I got selected. Do some companies jerk candidates around? Yes. Are candidates also looking to work at other companies, getting other offers? Also yes. Foolish question maybe but are you trying to get a job in academia? Steve Salida has a pretty decent book about this called An Honest Living. About how he was fired from an academic job for standing up for P. Lestine. He ended up becoming a bus driver. Which as it turns out is incredibly hard to do. It takes six months of classwork, tests, and training. There's another great anti-work book out there called Disciplined Minds. Which is why it sucks to be around most professionals and academics. Both of these books are on libgen. Nobody hates Americans like other Americans. This is mostly true. I use a language exchange app called HelloTalk a lot. And there's a lot of people there from other countries in voice rooms. And they complain a lot because whenever Americans get involved, we start insulting each other. Individualism helped America's rise and is now causing America's downfall. That is so true nobody hates Americans like other Americans. I work at such an institution now. Where this exact clerical error happened to every single one of my colleagues. Myself included. No one knows why. All of us took it really hard and then got the psych. You're hired email. Getting a job is hellish. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Heracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.